Okay, so the block is sliding to the right. Well, the fact that it's sliding to the right means that this, first off, it's sliding, so that force is not relevant. And second off, the only force that's relevant is this dynamic friction, right? So that force is going to be to the left. So 18.2466 is going to be to the left. That guy's going to be negative, right? And then there's a force of 12 newtons to the left. So let's draw that guy. Right, that guy will be negative, right? That guy's to the left. And then uh, we want to figure out the acceleration of the block. And of course, there's nothing acting on this thing, right? There's nothing acting to the right on this thing, right? So um, we're just going to set up our F equals MA equation, right? We've got negative 18.2466, and then we've got negative 12 newtons. And those are the only forces, right? So, so one might ask in this situation, what keeps that thing accelerating to the right? There's no force acting to the right. Both forces are acting to the left. And the answer is that it's got inertia. It's got momentum. It's already moving to the right. Um, it's not going to move to the right for very long, but, but it's going to move to the right some amount, right? Okay, so then we just say that equals 6.00 times A. And now we're set. Okay, so I'm just going to use parentheses here. Uh, negative 18.2466 uh, plus negative 12 divided by 6. I get negative 5.04 meters per second squared. So, okay, go team.